You got power. You got power. But because you look so stupid and so silly, everybody just makes fun of you and calls you environmentalist wackos. No, you're not wackos. You are the pale horse death. You are savage. You have power. And you are murdering people in mass. Congratulations. You wanted to be evil? You are evil. Now, I want to tell the good people out there that have protection instinct in them, that have the instinct of love and honor. You got to get focused. You got to just set your jaw and just feel the energy of liberty and freedom against these people and set your will against them. You have to set your will against them and feel that humanity rise up in you against these people and feel the strength of our ancestors that stood against slavery and stood against degradation and pain and enslavement and starvation. And all of you need to go online and type in starving children. Type it in right now. Let's look at photos of starving children desperately falling into piles of fleas and flies and dying, being bulldozed into pits right now in Latin America, Africa, and Asia. My uncle, when he was a helicopter pilot working in Latin America, described orphanages he would see with just hundreds of children starving to death with no food for them, with their ribs sticking out and pus dripping out of their eyes. And let me tell you something. You want to feel powerful, you little sicko, Nazi hippies? Feel powerful, you murdering scum. You go ahead and put your terror pass stuff on your car saying you're buying carbon credits and believe the lie that you're helping the third world, cutting off their resources. A lot of you are just useful idiots. But a lot of you we talked to, Rob Jacobson in Whole Foods a few months ago, walked up, good-looking girl behind the counter. He buys food there every few days fresh. He walks up, buys the case for killing Granny, <clears throat> Newsweek cover to bring it to me. He, he talks to her every few days. He says, look at this. She said, I think it's a great idea. I think we do need to start killing people. And he said, yeah, but they want to kill you too. And she said, yes, I want to die for the earth. See, she loves that power trip, that, 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 that evil core, and she doesn't even know she's evil. And I want to tell her this. Listen, kill yourself. Don't, don't kill some little African kid, some little Latin American or Asian kid when the UN buses pull up and, and give payoffs to the locals to inject them with vaccines on record that cause miscarriages on the spot. Okay? You say there's too many people? Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Don't kill children. You are a accomplice to murder. And so if you want to kill little defenseless people and you think it's cute and funny, like Dr. Eric Pionk at UT that talks about how wonderful it is when airborne Ebola gets released to kill 90% of people, I'm telling you, Pionka, kill yourself, buddy. You're the big man. Go to a gun shop, buy a 45, stick it in your mouth, and blow your brains out the back of your head. But you won't because you're a cowardly ghoul. You're a vampire. You get off on thinking about people dying. It makes your life that much sweeter. You are hell spawn. Now, I'm telling everybody out there, get your soul lined up. Get your head screwed on straight. If you have any humanity in you, you should just have absolute strength welling up in you to crush these people in the info war. Literally, when I think about those kids they're killing, I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, and any man could do this, I could take on 20 people right now because I'm in the right. These little chicken necks couldn't take on an old lady. These little wannabe control freak murdering supporters who support the murder of the U.N., cutting off people's resources, they couldn't fight their way out of a paper bag. And that's why they love death and evil, because they think it's power. They're like a moth to flame. Is that not moral? Is it not completely moral to tell Diane Francis, the writer that says she wants the Chinese model of forced abortions and sterilization and death and pain and 50 million more Chinese men than women and record suicide by depressed women that can't have babies in China. Shouldn't she kill herself? Shouldn't she go in the garage, hook up the carbon monoxide and kill herself? Big, fat, liberal, fake yuppie. Oh, no, that's scary. That's immoral for me to say that. It's just good for her to talk about everybody else. Travis County, 
Only county in Texas funds abortions with taxpayer money. Makes you pay for it. They don't tell these poor ignorant women having kids that there's more people wanting to adopt children every year than there are abortions. They don't tell these young people when Planned Parenthood pushes it on them. They were founded by eugenicist Margaret Sanger and the Rockefeller Foundation. See, it's so moral when they, I mean, I've, I've seen three articles in Newsweek every time I pick it up in the last month and a half. I've read it three times. Every time there's an article about how great people are committing suicide for the environment. In fact, this morning I had to run out of the house to get here. I saw another article about committing suicide for the environment. In fact, let's do that live on screen right now. Go to Google or go to startpage.com. Go to Google. Type in kill yourself for the environment. And there's articles about how great it is to commit suicide. These people are amazing. Now, again, I don't really want the editorialist Diane Francis to commit suicide. She has two children, though she wants by law for you not to be able to have any or only have one. Look at Ted Turner. He has five children, owns more houses, last time I saw in the paper, than anybody else in the country. Five children that we know about. But he doesn't want you to be able to have any. These people are sick. Put her on screen. It's up on prisonplanet.com. The article is titled, Furious Reaction to Sick Editorial Calling for Global One-Child Dictatorship. We'll put that on screen. And then while I'm talking to callers today, I want you to go in and type starving children. And, and you can type vultures eating dead child. Here, let's show people vultures eating dead babies. This woman ought to be made to go to Africa and spend a month with those people dying. And then, oh, I love what the yuppies always say. Well, those Africans should just go where the food is. Yeah, the globalists fund wars to push people off their land, according to State Department Memorandum 200. Then they're pushed into desert areas and starved to death. And people sit around going, well, they should just move where there's food. They always counter back. Oh, you say adopt these babies. Let's see, you adopt some black or Hispanic babies. Did you know there are groups fighting to adopt those children? There are people that adopt those children. There's large groups of white Christians that adopt five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten black and Hispanic babies that would have been aborted. There's programs where they pay the mothers not to abort. And then they fund fake liberal Hispanic and black groups to come and say whites shouldn't be able to save the babies. Better the babies thrown in a biohazard bag and used for genetic experiments. Better their retinas are used to grow uh, vaccine lots. Better they be melted down and used for women's collagen injections. Because that's how you treat a black baby. We're not going to let a whitey get the kids. We're going to kill them. Just like Margaret Sanger said, we've got to hire blacks. We've got to hire blacks to go out and sell the blacks on letting us kill them. And then when you for when you want to murder black people, you get awards from the NAACP. You get Woman of the Year in Time magazine. But when you want to save the black people, the ADL writes hit pieces on you, saying you're a Nazi. That's how this upside down world works. Yeah, there you found the vulture about to have its meal of the tiny child. Let's put some more starving children up on the video so that when this woman watches this video, and no doubt she'll be sent it, and no doubt you will watch it. Oh, I know your argument. Well, if we get rid of masses of them, then this won't happen anymore. It's the overpopulation with the weird little smiley face she has. And looking at her picture makes me sick. Power trips, what she's on. Did you know the Royal Commission in 49 found that the West was going to keep the third world from industrializing, even though that would make their numbers go down from on average four children to 1.3 like the West? And that they decided to let their numbers explode to destroy their industrial base? 
And now the U.N. treaty will double their taxes that are on the West, double third world taxes, massively killing people who were borderline starving to death. Look, I know all your excuses, all your programming, all the garbage you were taught. I know you go to your little Malthusian meetings, your little fake liberal meetings, and talk about the people bomb all day. I know who you are, lady. I know your whole game plan. And you feel like a little goody two-shoe there. Put her up on screen again. Furious reaction to sick editorial calling for global one-child dictatorship. Look at that smile. I've seen that smile a million times from these people. When you see that smile, that look, that is the spirit of these people. The smiley-faced pig demons. How many times have I talked about them? How many times have I warned you? That is the face of true evil incarnate. And it will have its way with you, whether you like it or not.